Ah, GameCube. So sorry! What? Boss, the, the red... I saw my enemy, and we had a stand. I can't believe this. Man, you really are worthless. Boss, it wasn't my fault. He, he must have cheated. That's it. He must have used some special type of gear. What? Are you implying that you lost because of my gear? Yeah. No one can tune a gear the way I can. Accept it, buddy. It's not the board. Your skills just suck. What? S -s suck? Yes. S-U-C-K. Suck. So, so, stop it! What? Now, let's get down to business. I believe our colleague Eggman, he's gotta be hiding something. And you know, I don't like secrets, so I've got Same. a job for you, Same. I don't Storm. like secrets either. Sure. I want you to sneak into Eggman's base and find out what he's hiding there. Make sure you look carefully. You got it, boss. Hey, before you go! Bring something back, or don't return at all. That means go to 7-Eleven, get me a double gulp Slurpee and a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> when you order food to go and they mess up your order. All right, leave Eggman Robo behind you and finish in first place. So here's our ninth stage. Ice Factory. Hope you're ready for this. Hello everybody, Super Me 84 here, and welcome back to Sonic Riders on the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we started the Babylon story in Night Chase in Red Canyon with Jet and Wade. So we're playing as Storm. Now Storm is a power type character like Knuckles, but I think he's a little more powerful. And he can do the same thing that Knuckles can do bash through objects that get in the way. And Storm is one of my favorite power type characters to play in this game. In fact, I find him better to play with than Knuckles. It sucks that in the story mode, you only get to play the power characters once, the flight type characters twice, and the speed characters three times. So, Ice Factory is like Egg Factory, but the place is covered in ice instead of lava, and the track layout is different. Um, if you hold the control stick up on this ramp there, you can able to jump higher and break those icicles that are hanging on the ceiling. Alright, lap 2. 56-28. So, basically, in context of the story, Storm has lost the race to Knuckles in a factory. Storm goes back to the airship and tells Jet that he lost the race. Jet tells Storm to go into Eggman's base, which means go back to the factory and search for more information on what Eggman is hiding from them. But instead of going back to the lava factory, he goes into the ice factory. And we have to bring something back to Jet, and if we don't, then we're not allowed to return to the airship at all. Lap 3, 5628. I like Ice Factory better than Egg Factory because it doesn't have a lot of difficult turns to go through. And you want to know something? When the first time I saw Egg Factory was not from this game. It was actually a Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games because there is a dream event called Dream Short Track and it takes place in the Egg Factory. And I actually didn't know that Egg Factory was a track based off a Sonic game when I was watching uh, SGB playing uh, Sonic Riders back in 2013 and found out that Egg Factory was from this game. And you know what? I'm glad they brought this track back in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Corner Games because the track is fun, but it doesn't have the same track layout in this game. Instead, it has like an infinity shaped track layout and the music has a faster tempo, kind of like a remix type music. And there we go. We did it in 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Fastest lap, 53.48. Alright, on to the next one.
Wait, stop moaning. I'm trying to sleep. Huh? What's taking Storm so long? Just sit down and relax. Chill, Wave. Really, Jet? How can you be so relaxed at a time like this? Don't you see? As the leader, you've got responsibilities. Some you understand, but you... <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, huh? can't stand this woman. Mm, I think it's time for a little fun. I'm out of here. This girl's driving me crazy. Huh? Bye, Wave. Hey, Jet! You come back here right now! Why do I even bother? Unless I take charge, nothing ever gets done here. Honestly, I can relate. Alright, finish in first place. So here's our tenth stage. White Cave. So, White Cave is like Green Cave, but it has some different elements here and there, and you're using a speed character instead of a flying character. Now, the stage isn't really that difficult at all, but you want to do the same thing as you did in Green Cave. Get away from the AI as fast as possible, and just make sure you don't fall off the track. Yeah, and remember, these web jumps are important for two reasons. One, it will keep you ahead of the pack, and two, if you don't go through those web jumps, the AI can catch up to you. Alright, lap two. 4605. Some of these jumps in the game can be really difficult to pull off because you have to hold the A button a little longer and either hold the control stick up or down. And it takes a lot of time to pull off those high jumps that you couldn't do in the first try in order to go through some of the shortcuts. If you jump straight into the game with no practice at all, then you're going to mess up a lot and lose the race. And you're going to have to keep retrying the stages over and over until you win the race. Especially when you're doing mission mode. And because in this game, going through the shortcuts is necessary depending on what objective you are doing if you want to get a gold reward. Alright, lap 3, 45-95. Um, in the last cutscene, when Wave is rambling to Jet, if you slow it down, she's not speaking English at all. She's speaking Japanese. There were no lines of Wave rambling in English. They switched her English voice actress to the Japanese voice actress for Wave. It's not clear what she's actually saying, but it has something to do with Jet's lack of leadership. Anyway, we're almost done here. Just gotta jump on these webs one last time, and we're done. And there we go! And we did it in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. Fastest lap. 4450. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.